You know, a, every time I have to talk about Haiti, especially um, during the past 10 to 15 years, it's always about a story that brings pain to anyone who has heart. And this latest one, the situation that's going on right now on the border in, uh, between Texas and Mexico, talking about horrific, it's just an understatement. I never anticipated that the US government would reserve such a dehumanizing treatment to the people of Haiti. But Mr. Biden was on a campaign trail. He promised that he would not govern or preside the same way Donald Trump used to govern. He said he was different. He said he understood our uh, human dignity. But what we're seeing here with regard to Haitians in particular, there's no different when Donald Trump say Haitians are folks who came from uh, holes uh, that are extremely stink. Biden may not use these words, but his action, and we say action speaks, uh, speak louder than words, and his word, clearly, clearly his action uh, is unequivocal when it comes to treating Haitians. But treating Haitians this, this way is a violation of international law, is a violation of UN Charter, which regulates migrations and refugee resettlement. Uh, you, you would know that anyone, any high official in the US government doesn't know that, they know. And they're doing it precisely because the people they're doing it to are Haitians, and they can do this to Haitians, and they believe this can get away with it. You know, these pictures, horrific pictures of police officers on horseback whipping away people, innocent men and women who are trying to make something better to their lives. I mean, I don't disagree to the fact that the people came illegally, but I strongly disagree to the treatment reserved only for Haitians. It's not only the first time, it's always the same thing when it comes to dealing with Haitian migrants. So how do we break this impasse? I always said the ultimate solution to Haiti's condition, to the Haitian problem, has to become coming from Haiti itself. Until Haiti has a responsible government, a government that understands that any society cannot be functioning, functioning effectively with the absence of political independence, economic independence. You know, we that society will never will never be a functional one. But yet, the same people who are telling Haitians they need to remain in their country, are the ones who are making, who are making their country impossible to live in. Haitians love their country, by the way. You know, risking one's life to shark-infested waters or to uh, 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 animals, dangerous animals-infested forests to make one way to the border with the United States is not an easy journey. 
<clears throat> giving an opportunity, I'm sure every single one of them will choose the opportunity, the other one, not this one. So it's yet another awakening that Haitians must understand to stop this humiliating condition. What's important is to fight within the country itself, within Haiti, to bring about the profound changes that will ultimately someday stop Haitians from wasting their lives to wish the shores. It's hardening, it's disheartening to watch those horrific pictures. And one cannot be someone of Haitian origin. One cannot be a Haitian and not being hurt or affected by it. It's just the way I feel about it. But Haitian Americans should not remain idle. They should continue the, putting the pressure on Washington to make Joe Biden understand that it's not only when he wants the vote, he remembers that. It's always, it also has to do with treating people with human dignity. Thank <laughs> you.